Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and my latest challenge, the workflow for my latest challenge. It took some time to get the time to do this video because work and life got in the way. Uh, so this is the part, let's have a look at the drawing. I was asking for the volume and I said it's important to have a look at the section view here, AA section, that this maintains basically what we call the slot shape, half circle line, half circle line. And as I said, it's not 95,573, and the volume I have got on this workflow is 96,308, 96, and uh, somewhere up to 96,320 96, is like basically the same shape. It's a small difference on how uh, the shell command or if you use thicken on surface works, but uh, you can forget about that. The important thing is you're not 1,000 cubic millimeters too low, which we, you will get if you do this workflow instead let's open up and have a look at the volume of this one this property has a volume of negative 95573 why is this lower they look really close to each other let's turn on the other component they almost look the same but you can see the shadows are slightly changing this uh, with the flat face here and these two uh, which are ellipses because they are circles swept at an angle or loft at an angle, whatever you want to do. You can do a couple of different workflows. I'm going to show one workflow. But this other one, this is a loft from a, what you might call a slot shape on here, arc line, arc line, up to a circle. And if we turn it around a bit, you can see something is going on with the shadows here. It's bending inwards. And we turn on section here, take a look from the top. You can see that Fusion tries to get the loft to take a small shortcut. If you compare it to the what shape I wanted to have, you can see you can turn off this, this maintains the slot shape, but while this component takes a shortcut. That's what the loft command does. It tries to solve what you're asking it to do. You are, if we do a loft, we are going from a slot shape that has arc, point, line, arc, or point, arc, point, line. So there are four points, there are four sections, but the circle up here is basically one long edge, which you might think is one point, uh, but that makes Fusion a bit confused. It doesn't understand what you want this point here to connect to the midpoint here. So we need to tell Fusion what we want to do. So that's why uh, loft command sometimes, let's pop in between the two. We think you can do like this, so you can see the color of them. Uh, you can see the yellow one is the lofter one and the, what do you call it? skin pink color here is uh, the lofter version there's a small difference i have made this channel because i see this question popping up sometimes and if you want the lofter shape use the lofter shape but you need to know why because people sometimes ask out oh loft doesn't give me the geometry i want no loft does what tries to solve what you're asking to do something you need to give some more information so Let's do this thing here. We're going to do a new design here. We're going to move Fusion to the side, move up the drawing like this. So we have a look at it. There are a couple of different workflows. Uh, let's have a look at the, what I like to fit the hierarchy of commands here. Extrude, revolve are the simple ones. Sweeps gets more advanced and can give us more strange geometry. And the same with loft. So I try to work from up and down what tools can I use. And in this case, I can use the sweep tool to maintain things. But we're going to start by sketching. I would try to put all my sketches on the region planes. The planes here, the XY plane is, and so forth, ZX and so forth, Z, Z, Y and XY planes. We're going to use the planes so they get locked down to the geometry of the infusion. And I will not use 3D sketching. I would do it in two sketches. Some of you will say, oh, you can do it in 3D sketch. Feel free to do a 3D sketch. There are some problems with them. But let's not talk about that. We're going to focus on this. So, uh, looking at the drawing here, I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can have a look in my challenge video. I'm going to look at it. We have like a side view here and we have a top view. And the most information I get is from the side view. And my plan is here is to use sweep. And when I use sweep, I always try to first make the path. And the path is the outer side of this uh, of the connector here on this side. So I'm going to sketch from the front. I'm going to do some lines. I'm going to do one line. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go this. And I'm going to this. I could sketch the rest of this, but that's not really necessary. 
start the line command again by putting pushing L. I'm going to go for the midpoint. You see the small triangle popping up to up here. Control fusion, that's going to be horizontal vertical. And this line, holding down control, this line and this line is not really used. They are just construction geometry. So by that, we have like the lines I need. So we're going to do some constraints, coincident between this and here. So like that, we have basically all constraints. We have some perpendicular. So the only thing we are missing now are the dimensions. So let's start with this. This is why I did the full line here. This is the same as the full dimension of this. Using the midpoint constraints things to the center. So D on the keyboard. This here is 143 millimeters. The outer diameter up here is 56. Uh, on this here, you can see the height. This here is 50. Uh, this here is 50. And the angle of this face going up here is 60 degrees. And that is from the flat. I, I could add a construction line here, but I can also use this line. Do like that until fusion that is 60 degrees. Let's open up our sketch folder and have a look. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's move the dimension where we can see them a bit easier like that. And by doing that, we have done the path of a sweep and everything we need in this here. We have used the dimension we need, 143 millimeters, 50, 50, 56 on the top, and the 60 degrees. So going to finish sketch. I'm now going to create the profile I'm going to need. So I'm going to do that on looking from the top like that. And I'm going to hit P on the keyboard to project inside geometry. Uh, I've already input the 56 millimeter dimension here, that's the diameter. So I could uh, use a parameter or I can simply project this line is. So I have this line every sketch. I'm going to need this point here. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hide the first sketch. Tell Fusion this line is only for help. So I'm going to turn that into construction geometry. And now we're going to sketch the profile here. I'm going to do half of this. This is symmetric. I made the path of the inside, right side of the path. So I will only sketch the right side profile. And the profile is quite simply is basically a rectangle and a circle like that. Uh, we're sketching half. So this line here needs to be here, centered here. So I can coincident. Uh, for now, I can't find the midpoint. Hold down the shift key and you can find the midpoint of this line to the region. Uh, I'm going to move uh, this slide, oops, sorry, inwards. Can we move this inwards? Gets almost in the correct position. This here uh, it needs to be coincident with this tangent, but this I sketch the outside here. So this circle here should be coincident to that. And uh, getting the dimensions over, I do need to do an equal constraints. This line here is 56, and this line here should also be 56. And by doing that, I have a fully defined sketch without the need to put in dimensions in two places. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to turn on both sketches and have a look. So this is how far I've covered now. So let's do sweep. What do I want to sweep? I want to sweep these two circular things here, the full circle. The path is going to be this here. But now we need to pay attention to the orientation. If we do it perpendicular, as it follows it, we're going to get a bit of a strange thing because, as I said, I want this to maintain. Uh, you can see it, it gets angled here. Uh, I want to maintain the same outer. So this needs to be parallel like that. And by that, we done what we need. Going to hit OK. We're going to do an extrude. We're going to extrude this profile here and the distance. Uh, oh, so first of all, it's not extruded from the bottom here. So the profile, no, we're going to start from object. Let's find we had a sketch here. We can hide the body. We have a point in our sketch here. So it's from here. Let's turn on the body again. So the extrude will start from this level and the distance new is going to be two object and select this object. If it now throws an error at you, it's most probably most extended version of extrude. As I know, we need to switch it to adjacent faces and we're going to extrude this profile from this offset distance here until it touches this face here and it does a join. So hit OK. S on the keyboard to find the mirror command, mirror, bodies, yes, this body, body, 
mirror plane. I'm going to use the Viridian plane. I could use this face, but I try to use axes and, and planes from a region like that. Once again, join command, hit OK. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to do a shell. We select all faces here, here and here. And as you said here, it was a two millimeter. So that's going to be two millimeters. I hit OK. I'm going to hide. I have turned off auto hide on my sketches. I'm going to hide them by hand and right click and see what properties do we get. 96,308. And you can get a bit higher if you do it slightly different. So the thing I wanted to show here was the difference between lofting between a slot here and controlling. So we maintain, uh, we can do a section view, inspect. Where are you? Section analysis. Click here and simply pull it up somewhere. Oops, sorry, pull it upwards. And we typically get somewhere like this. We're going to look at the top view. And we can see that the section we have it maintains the arc here. That is a half circle and the straight lines. So we have done things quickly. So this was a small thing I've thrown together. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Take care. See you around. And goodbye.